Hello everybody, my name is Zeva the Jester, and you are probably wondering why I missed last week's upload. And I promise, it is not because I just didn't want to upload or something else was going on, but it's because I have seemed to have run into a rather unfortunate glitch that has plagued the Skyrim community for quite a while. It is the infamous and qu honestly quite sneaky bug that completely shuts down Bethesda's servers where you go into mods and usually something like this will come up where you actually try to get into the mod and you'll either say you cannot connect to Bethesda servers or your load order will not show up so this got me thinking hmm I'm not gonna be able to actually download any mods in the time being so this bug can take its time to get fixed so I decided I would wait and there it is <coughs> there it is as you can see the Bethesda servers are not working, so, yeah, I'm going to show you how to fix this bad boy. And for obvious reasons, the 800 subscriber special and the overthrow of Windhelm and the NPC battles are going to have to put on hold for at least another week or two, because this man decided to show his face, this bug decided to stick its hand into the cookie jar and got caught red-handed by me. So now I'm going to kill the bug, and I'm going to show you three ways to do so. Alright, so usually this is how the bug works. You'll either not be able to even get into the mod menu and you'll just see this. And that and it'll immediately kick you out. Now the first and more obvious route to take is to make a new Bethesda.net account where you just simply make a new account, log out of your old one, make a new one, and link it to your PS4, Xbox, PC, whatever you need. That is, uh, that is indeed the most obvious one, but not everybody wants or has the option to do that, me included. So we're going to go on to the more troubleshooting type of fixes, which leads me on to the next point. Now the second option is a little bit more foreign, it's a little bit more like weirdish, but what you're going to do is if you have Fallout 4, you are going to install it onto your PS4, your Xbox, or your PC. Once you're on Fallout 4, you are going to go to the mods and see if the th servers are working there. If they are, then this should jog the memory of Skyrim. And honestly, I can't understand why. I never will understand why this works. But for me and a couple of other people, it has worked. Now, of course, I'm there we go. So all my mods are still intact. And I am going to go see if Skyrim works now. After you're done with that, you're simply going to delete Fallout 4, and it should work. Hopefully it does. After you're done logging into the mod market on Fallout 4, you're going to delete Fallout 4, and then you're going to test to see if this works. And we're about to find out right now. And there we go. All of my stuff is officially fixed. And this is usually what I do in order to actually combat this bug. Now this will also just kind of jog the memory. It should be good for a while, which is why I keep Fallout 4 installed because of this bug alone. It's actually insane how fucking simple and how, I'm not going to lie, it's very hard to find this bug fix online. It really is. So uh, I'm very happy to show it with you. But there are a couple other things that you could do to actually get this bug to stop as well if you don't have Fallout 4. Alright, so let's say you don't have Fallout 4 installed and you're not spending $40 to fix a game bug on Skyrim, which I 100% understand. What you're going to do is you are going to go to your save data. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings, which should be right here. You're going to go to your storage, and then you should go to your save data, or... This, I'm just showing you the process on how to get there right now. Go to save data, and all of your saves should come up. Now, unfortunately, what you may have to do is you may have to just delete all of your content, all of your things, but another thing that you could try first is just deleting any of the saves you don't use, such as these ones from all the way back in 2020 that I use, which is another thing I've done. Then you're going to go to your notifications and see those save data cannot uploads. You're going to delete those as well. So try that and see if it works. Now I do want to say that this bug is has always been around, but it has been a lot more common since the AE update 
and the infamous update that just caused a crap ton of bugs within the anniversary edition. It is, a, it was an update I wanted to talk about, but I mean, like, at the time, everybody was talking about it, and everybody was just, like, saying things that were completely, like, they were all just saying the same thing, so I didn't see really a point. Now, normally, I really do love the, uh, normally, I love the enthusiasm, but, like, I need, I need, uh, I need peace and quiet for now. Like, don't get me wrong, their singing is beautiful, it's magnificent, but I, I really do need to get my point across without hearing people, like, screaming and, like, you know. But, yeah. This is unfortunately one of those bugs that cannot be fixed right away. It is usually one of those bugs that completely destroy the game and it's just impossible to avoid. You're gonna get it eventually, so try to keep this uh, video in your, um, the back of your mind. There are a few things that you could do to stop it, but I mean, it's not really worth the trouble trying to avoid it because it's going to happen regardless and there's nothing you could really do to prevent it. So, yeah, it's just one of those bugs that just completely destroy the game and I'm not going to lie, it is very, very hard to actually get this bug in the first place. But once you get it, you have it for a while. Even if you fix the thing, it's just impossible to actually get rid of because all you could really do is install it. You could really just you could just stall it, and that's really it. Um, and honestly, I think it's one of the most annoying mods. I mean, annoying bugs ever. It's just so so stupid. It's been stopping me from doing any really really anything. I can't really make any Skyrim content like this. I have to actually go onto the forums and read the mod descriptions there to actually be able to tell you what the mods do and it's, it's really been getting annoying recently I've been trying everything but I recently found these bugs that these bugs um, are not at fault on our part it's entirely due to Bethesda uh, net servers now unfortunately the the final fix that I know about is quite dire and it's unfortunately the route that I'm going to have to take because it seems that my uh, uh, hasn't worked for very long. It's been two days since I made that video and it's happened again while I was editing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back onto Fallout 4. You're going to open up the mod menu. Once you've opened up the mod menu you are simply going to exit out of the mod menu or actually let me just there we go, yeah. I don't have any content installed anyway, but I just wanted to check to see if the load order was good. Let me just download this mod real quick. See if this works. Alright, yeah, there it is. There it is in my load order. So this mod, this is obviously fixed. This is obviously good. This obviously works. And this is a part of the Bethesda Net servers. So now we, I'm just going to let that download. Maybe that'll jog the memory. Just taking every single chance. This is like literally the most last, um, you know, the last straw method where you get onto Fallout 4, you download Fallout 4, you check the mods, you download a mod, check to see if the load order is intact, you let it reload. Then what you're going to do is you're going to exit Fallout 4, delete both Fallout 4 and Skyrim, unfortunately, and then reinstall both of them and see if it works. And that, my friends, is all of the fixes I know of how to fix this bug. I really do hope that this works. I'm not saying that this is a guarantee that it will. But unfortunately, this is one of the bugs that's been happening recently. And it's just so annoying. Eventually, you're going to get a fix where it will go away completely. But this is one of those bugs that kind of sticks for a little while. You have to do it a couple times before it actually works. And... There's not much else I can really do about it. There's not much else you can really do about it. This is entirely one of those bugs that just sticks and this is a good way to stall it so you can at least play for a few hours. But, um, yeah. Or it'll at least allow you to stay on the mod menu for a while so you can download the stuff and, you know, get your load order intact and then you can play it. And, yeah. That's all the mods. That's all the fixes I know. I hope that I'm able to get this bug to stay off me in time for the uh, 800 subscriber special because I really don't want to re-download this game for a fifth time this month. Really, really don't. So, without 
with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, yo.